and we're putting on a function today which is called the day of sharing and the reason that I decided to organize something like this and put something like this together that there is many of us that have lost their children and lost their loved ones parents to uh, overdose and we are very wounded people um, because of the death of our, our family members um, we've decided to put a day of sharing together so that we can come together share our experience strength and hope with each other that we can get well we have a tombstone uh, representing the deaths that occur every day in the United States of America which is 150 a day from overdose deaths in the United States of America that's unfathomable and unacceptable um, so we've come together today to uh, hopefully have some awareness and really to have some healing um, for those that have been affected by the addiction and affliction. His hugs made you feel like the safest person in the world. You see, my love is so much more than an overdose statistic. Sadly, Jerry's story isn't rare. I've since met many families that have lost loved ones at the hands of as fentanyl. Our brothers, sisters, daughters, sons, best friends, and boyfriends are dying at alarming rates and nobody is talking about it. So I've decided I won't be silent. I will always say his name. Ryan Russell. Christy. Kayla Nicole Elmore. Christy Lee Richardson. Adam Hugler. Benny Jimenez. Steve Harrington. Craig Shea.